Looking good. Looking good. Oh, yeah, that's terrific. Now, now look over to me and smile. Come on, look at me. I have a big smile. <laughs> Wait a minute. Arnold, would you please come out here? <laughs> working, Dad. <laughs> How much farther do we have to go to find this tree? <laughs> you know, we, we have to get back in time to deliver all those presents I have in the back of the car. And I've got to get back in time to dress for the big party tonight. We'll be back in time. The paper said it was going to snow. I think we'll find some good trees just around this next bend. The paper said... I heard you. <laughs> Come here, Wench. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. I remember very well because that was the year Father got on that big go up in the hills and cut your own Christmas tree, kid. Oh, yeah, I remember that bit. <laughs> Wasn't he mad at us kids or something like that? He certainly was. He was pretty upset because he was certain that we just didn't have the right attitude toward Christmas. You didn't have either. <laughs> All you cared about was how many presents you could wangle. Well, Merry Christmas and a ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh. Can't be. It's Christmas and the bell didn't ring. Somehow he found us without the bell. You know, kid, maybe the bell didn't bring Santa to town all these years after all. Maybe he came because he sensed the spirit of Christmas. Ho, ho, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Ho, ho! Uh oh. Merry Christmas, Kathy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Aunt Neva. Merry Christmas. Hey, guys, I really am sorry that I kept you up so late, but I just wanted to know how I felt about you. We understand, Mr. Drummond. And we're glad we're living here, too. Yeah. He can even play at my train. Yeah. But not until tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait a minute. Come here. 